Hello, welcome to my presentation to um, how to create an ebook in OpenOffice with different page sequences. First thing I need to do is set up my page uh, parameters. Um, see, go to Format and Page. Click on the Page tab. Um, you can set use whatever preferences you want. Most people um, prefer uh, five inches to buy seven inches for their uh, ebook size. I'm going to put in a margin of point um, 125. That's one eighth of an inch. Point 125. That's for my left and right margins. And then um, point uh, 25 and point 25. There we go. And um, over here on the page layout format, I'm going to go to the format and change that to uh, the small Roman numerals. And I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to give me this warning. The margin settings are out, out of print range. Do you still want to apply these settings? Yes. Now, let's see, I hit enter a few times, move on down here. I need to set up a title page. Let's see, title page. Let's see here. Get a little fancy. Alright. If you want to learn a little bit more about font work, I do have a video on it. Here we go. Now I'm going to say double click on that. Backspace. Over won't work and let's see here we go there we go center if you'll notice down here where it says page you notice it has a small letter I and when I continue to the next page you'll see it has two eyes and um, since it's going to be the back of my uh, title page I Need to put the copyright symbol in, say insert, special character. There we go. 2010. There we go. This page here, um, the third page, I'm going to leave it blank temporarily because I'm going to put my table of contents here. This will be my introduction. Intro. Uh, there we go. Say so change it to say heading one. You see, recenter it. I'm kind of old school. I like doing things with uh, paragraphs with well, first line indent. So you just do this. Double click there and start typing. Put my. when you hit enter it automatically indents since you I'm doing the first line indent blah 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 now I'm going to type in say page and then say insert go to fields say page number not page count but page number and you notice it's a, it put in page numbers there but if you when you go to uh, page preview you'll see it shows you um, page 4 in, in the small letter uh, Roman numerals now I'm going to go down one page now um, to uh, change the page number sequence I'm ready to say start with my chapters and I want to use regular numbers and, and then restart back to the numeral one. So what I'll do here, I'll go back to my page and styles, uh, styles and format, formatting. This little icon right here where you hover over it and you should see page styles. Click it. Now uh, on one of these here you just right click and then click new. Here I'm going to say put in a got to make up a unique name that's not used already I'm going to say chapters and here it says next style 
you need to select chapters because if you don't uh, when you uh, after you do this one page it's going to default back to the style that you already was already using now we need to go click on the page tab go through all this you know reset the page size five inches wide seven inches tall say point 125 point 125 in other words one eighth of an inch for left and right margins point 25 uh, one fourth of an inch for top margin and for the bottom margin now over here you notice it says one two and three we're not going to change it that's what we want and um, why don't we add it uh, I'm going to click on header of course this pops up out of print range do you want to apply these settings yes I'm going to say turn the header on and say OK. Now, um, um, I need to insert that um, page style now. I'm going to say insert. I say manual break. And you got to make sure page break is selected. Then for style, I go, I select chapters, the one I just created. Now I'm going to say change page number and check that. Make sure it's got number one in. Now you notice that all of a sudden the um, header has appeared. I'm going to go ahead and click in it, center it. I'm going to say page space and I'm going to say insert fields page number. Here I'm going to say chapter one. And say title this chapter writers block and the content of this chapter will be let's see here a big question mark all right here we go now this here go back to all right say chapter I need to set that to uh, heading one. I need to do this same thing. Heading one. There we go. All right, chapter three. Heading one. Now, if you notice, um down here you're saying page three but at, but I have a total of nine pages this is the ninth page in page count but it is page three um, let me see here I'm gonna go click on file export to, as PDF check um, make sure everything here is where I want it and um, go ahead and export that and say test there we go. Now let's take a look at the uh, results. Here, here's my ebook. Or as you can see, here's my table of contents. Now, if you click your bookmarks over here, you'll notice your table of contents is already here too. So you can just by clicking on any of these you can see here it automatically take you to that page and if you notice the page numbers all the page numbers here see page one page two and before it was page four in Roman small Roman numerals I hope this um, has been a um, help to you thank you for watching